So a lot of people thought that they can just make all this noise about Dave Chappelle and Netflix. And they thought they was going to be able to cancel Dave Chappelle and force Netflix to get rid of him. But see one thing that Netflix and Dave Chappelle showed all of you is when you the top dog and you can wield your power as the top dog, you can't do nothing with them. When you the top co comedian, nobody can mess with you. Cause you got your own money. Netflix is the top in the streaming services, man. Nobody not going to cancel their Netflix behind no Dave Chappelle making some jokes. Nobody not going to do that. You know, this, this other community running around here trying to bully people. See pe people have gotten tired of it. They're tired of you running around here trying to bully everybody. And this is what a lot of people supported Dave Chappelle because they're sick of you. They're sick of you with your crap. And Netflix say, look, y'all could quit. Y'all could do whatever you, you know, they had them, you know, leaking Dave Chappelle's, you know, uh, uh, what he got paid and all of that. Like what, what was that going to do? Like, like make people, uh, Cancel Netflix because he got paid what 23, 24 million, whatever it was. Ain't nobody gonna cancel that Netflix because Dave Chappelle got his money. Let him get his money. He he worked for it, right? Let him get it. So now this is what Netflix is about to do. So Dave Chappelle is about to open Netflix's first ever comedy festival in Los Angeles this spring. Even though he had all this criticism, he's receiving his first, his, his final special on the streaming platform. All right. Because he had a, a contract with them. Now they say he would headline the show Dave Chappelle and friends at the Hollywood bowl venue on April 28th, 2022. The first day of Netflix is a joke. The festival, which will run until May the 8th and feature more than 130 comedians and performers. So I say Robbie Pa, the director, a stand up and comedy special at Netflix said the festival is going to give comedy fans the opportunity to see the greats and discover new voices in one of the greatest cities in the world. It says Chappelle who has been at odds, you know, with the alphabet community and especially transgender community for his jokes. They face, you know, backlash for the last one, the closer, you know, which released in October. Uh, they say, according to, uh, was being released here. And I say Dave Chappelle spent more than half of the special making jokes, telling stories about the transgender community, which people was complaining and saying it was transphobic and mocking and disparaging, even though he always talks about everybody else, but that, but he, you know, so now it said Dave Chappelle has not walked back his remarks and he don't have to as a special, they say has divided Netflix, even stage a walkout in late October. And so while the CEO of, of the streaming giant, publicly defended Dave Chappelle. Now they said Chappelle's selection to open Netflix first comedy special could meet additional criticism and protests from Chappelle's critics. Like we care. Cause I guarantee you I'm going to watch it and going to enjoy it. Now they also got mad once again, that he called himself a turf and say a trans exclusionary radical feminist and proclaim that gender is a fact. Okay. So of course they are still mad about that. And say those that say defending Chappelle point out that during the special, the comedian said he will stop making jokes about the transgender community until we are all laughing together and that he never had a problem with transgender people. Uh, they say in a video posted to, on October 25th, Chappelle said he would not uh, bend to anybody's demands. And he said, for the record, I need you to know this. Everyone I know from that community has been nothing but loving and supportive. So I don't know what, this nonsense is about. So all I can say is bravo to Dave Chappelle for enduring, not backing down, not bowing the knee, not kissing the ring, not bending over, not groveling, but being a freaking man standing on his words, what he said in that special, dealt with all the criticism faced the so-called canceling and nothing happened. This is a lesson to all comedians, actors, musicians, 
anybody in our community who has faced this backlash, Dave Chappelle should inspire you. You see people like Kevin Hart, he backed down. You understand what I'm saying? Now Kevin Hart coming out talking about that he support Dave Chappelle because Dave Chappelle did what Kevin Hart should have done. If we as black people take a stand and don't let these people beat up on us when we have something to say, no matter what it is. And if we as a community stand with that brother or that sister at the moment and say, we got you, everybody else could turn away from you, but we got you. We going to support your special. We going to buy your record. We going to watch your movie. We going to watch whatever you got going on. We going to support you. Hell we'll donate to you if you need it but we got you. We should never let a brother or sister be out there alone where these people are attacking them, especially when they are saying something that's right. You understand? There's a lot of people out here, you know, in our community and even other communities that have saying enough is enough. Enough is enough. We're tired of that mess. It's time for this stuff to go back to what it used to be. Look, live your life, be grown, do whatever you're going to do but keep that in your circles. Stop trying to push that on me. Stop trying to push that on my children. I'm not pushing my, my situation, whatever that may be on anybody. I'm not forcing nobody to conform to how I live personally. No, I do what I do in my home with my family and I respect everybody else. See, I grew up in a time period where that particular community was to themselves you had to go to where they was at to find them. They wasn't in your face and nobody never said nothing bad about them. Be honest with you because there was in their areas. They was with their particular, you know, community friends, whatever. It was no parades all over the place doing things that straight people can't even do. It was none of that when I was growing up, but we knew they had people like that in the community and those people stayed to themselves had their relationships and nobody had a problem with it at all in our community. That's why I hate when people come up here and try to lie on the black community and, 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 and try to accuse us of, of not liking, you know, people because of what they do. Man, black folks don't care about what you got going on. It's all kind of, man, look, one thing I can tell you about black people, black people are the most loving and accepting people in the world. We don't care who you're married to. We don't care who you date. We don't care uh, where you come from. We don't care about your religion. We don't care about anything like that. We are accepting people. And we have been so accepting that it has been a fault to us throughout the years in our community where people have misused that, that, that loving nature of, of black people. And, 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 and enslaved us behind it and, and stolen from us and doing all kinds of things to us. I will never let these people sit up here and try to say that our community is the most homophobic. Black people weren't out here torturing people like Matthew Shepard. We weren't doing that. How many times have, have that community been attacked by their own? We talking about their own white community. They don't like to talk about that. All they want to talk about is situations where straight black men who was on the down low get ex either exposed by someone in the transgender community and then they react in violence or someone, one of them were stealthing cause that is a word stealthing. In other words, they, they, they love to try to trick straight men. Okay. In, in, into thinking they're actual biological women. And then w when some of them have the surgeries and all of that, like the Sydney star types and spun a lot of money on themselves. And then when they get down to doing something and they find out, wait a minute, you got the same plumbing I got as a man, these guys flip out. And, and sometimes that has happened. No man wants to be, locking lips with someone 
that has the same chromosomes as them. No matter what kind of makeup, surgery, or whatever else they do unto themselves, okay? Most men will become outraged and embarrassed at the same time. They never like to tell that part of the story. You always want to just say, oh, look, this black man, look what he did. It, it, it's, it, it's so easy to pinpoint how it happened nine times out of 10. It's either or. As I stated before. But even with that, nobody cares, man, what, 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 what you do. Black people are, are really cool like that, man. We don't care whatsoever. So. Dave Chappelle is, 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 you know, in my opinion, one of, one of the great brothers of the year in 2021 that he endured the relentless attack by that community. And, and, and the, you got to say that the people definitely in a Democrat party, cause that's, that's their people. And he came out s- smelling like a new rose. That's how we got to be as black people and definitely as black men. We stand on our words, what we say, we endure criticism. We endure whatever it is. We endure it because we know we will come out better on the other side. So let me know in the comments, ladies and gentlemen, what you think about our brother Dave Chappelle and, and, and he's winning and why he's going to continue to win. And it's your first time coming by, make sure you subscribe. Um, that's how you know when we are releasing another podcast on the Phil Scott audio experience. If you listen to us on another platform, uh, make sure you, you follow and share, uh, the podcast that way, you know, you'll keep up with what we have going on and we always going to have some good topics coming, uh, for you. And the thing I would say to you, ladies and gentlemen is, um, we got what coming up at the end of the year. That's for sure. And if, if you enjoy uh, our platform, you know, please consider, you know, hitting us in the cash app. We got a link down there below. Uh, we always can definitely use funding, um, to grow the platform and do new things. So we got a lot of things coming in 2022. We would greatly appreciate all your support and thank you for listening and see you next time. Uh-huh.